lot of your opportunities. You're talking about the size of the market, but I'm interested as a developer, what are my opportunities to benefit of this market? So how do you see, what, what do you see our opportunities to benefit? Or am I, only if uh, I'm a big company and I want to reach a lot of people, but I have a completely different different model? Or what? Um, I see, uh, there's a, there, it's a little bit different uh, uh, topic, but there's a, always for every uh, um, uh, technology, uh, it goes through certain phases. And usually the thing that drives economy is really tomorrow you need to do more with less and it should be cheaper, right? So regardless of what, what, what will, you know, how that's gonna happen, uh, this is essentially you can count on. Right? So I see today software uh, is still a lot more expensive to create that I can see potentially with all the other changes like we're going right now through the mobile devices, but there's another uh, platform, uh, Google uh, uh, Cloud Services, where you can, uh, you can, so anyways, sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm getting sidetracked here. I see there's lots of opportunities. Uh, are you gonna get very rich on it? Probably not. Okay. Is it a sustainable business? Yes, once the numbers are there, right? So essentially, uh, think about, uh, if you look at the any, uh, any industry, uh, that's a always driving force. You need to do less with more. So the pro productivity should be uh, higher. So you have to hire productivity tools, right? And that's why Java is important in some other languages, right? Uh, you have to have uh, less, uh, be better quality, right? And you, you need to basically, um, um, I guess, reduce the costs. Yeah. Write business apps for enterprise applications because, you know, we're quoting on a company and they're selling their iPhone apps for hundred dollars. That's that's what so I'm talking you about. Get, you know, you right. don't have to send as many of those as the ninety-nine cent one. Right. So the Google strategy. Uh, uh, this is a very important point. The Google strategy to create a platform not only for for mobile devices but also they, they released recently their um, cloud services platform where you actually can create a service app, server application right and sell it cheaper right because now you don't have to have your own infrastructure you don't have to have uh, uh, load balancers and network equipment and hosting services and all number of things so they can really create this economy of scale for you. yeah but the applications and to distribute applications. Right. It was absolutely horrendous to, to do that. Uh, what propelled basically Apple from a non-existent market to what they have today is the fact that they made it very easy for developers to develop yes. and to distribute the, their stuff. Right. And to make money in the process. Right. So everybody is incentive to go to Apple, everybody's incentive to develop for the iPad for the iPhone 4.0 and so forth, right. hoping that they're gonna make some money. Right. Like, uh, I'm looking at Android, and Android has been out there one year less than, right. than Apple. So you cannot say, oh, it's new and upcoming. It's been uh, a while, right. and still people are not adopting it, and I'm talking to all the people that actually tried to do something, right. and they're very disappointed, because right. even the people from US that are putting apps in the store, they don't make money. So why do you say there's opportunities there? How do you think this this uh, operating system is going to explode just because they put in many phones? Nokia has so much more many phones than right. they just lost the market. Right. We had the same conversation about Linux in 1998. <laughs> it was exactly the same conversation. And Windows is still big and powerful, and Linux is. Uh, Oh, on, the de on the desktop, oh, oh. yes. <laughs> but on the desktop. I'm about, uh, compared to Apple, you know, uh, you know, Windows is still big. Linux, Linux is still 
Windows and 